What's up, YouTube? It's Young Man's Daily Red Pill back with another video. Thank you guys for clicking on today's video, liking the content, sharing the content, help me spread this red pill message. Today is going to be a very special topic because I will be addressing an email I received. You know, I do these email requests once in a while. So if you do have a question, a concern, a comment, um, if you really want me to answer your question, the honest to God best way to get a hold of me is to join the Patreon because all those messages go directly to my inbox. And you know, it's just a direct message. I don't have to filter through comments. I don't have to go through my email. So that's just the easiest way to get a hold of me. But with no further ado, you guys didn't come here for that. You guys came here for me to address the title of this video and the issue and the topic that I will be talking about is dealing with depression after relationships. All right. That is the subject of this email. And it comes from uh, a brother named Omnipotent Saiyan. So he goes on and says, hi, I'm a 21 year old man from Georgia. Recently, I did an experiment to find a significant other on Tinder. Since in real life, things wasn't going so well, weren't going so well, um, after asking around for dates. I dated eight women in six months, and seven out of eight of them wanted to scam me out of my money. Um, you allowed that, by the way. We'll get into that, though. I'm messaging you because I'm messaging you this because I wanted to hear your opinion on the situation. After experiencing all of it, I came to the conclusion to not date anymore since I lost a little over $1,500 in the end. Uh, you can even make a video about it if you want to, but if you want more insight on the situation, here's a video of me telling you what happened. It's kind of lengthy. It's about 45 minutes. He did link the video in the email. Um, I did have a little bit of time to watch it. Not a lot, not a lot of time. It was 45 minutes long and it was kind of like, you know, it was a little bit spaced out, man. So I wasn't able to really pick up on all your different stories because it just, there were just so many different branches and it was kind of all over the place. Um, but from what I can tell you, all right, from experience and you should not be, um, number one, I'm totally against online dating. All right. Like, especially if you're looking for a virtuous woman, if that's even around anymore, if we're even going to say that, if you're looking for someone that has long possible long-term potential, because some of you guys do still have that fantasy out there and that belief that there could be a long-term partner out there. That's, you know, that's not like the rest of these modern women. Um, and I hate to break it to you, you know, looking online, you're not going to find that. And you have to go into that relationship or go into that situation with the girls from online realizing like, if she's online, you have to realize that she's at rock bottom in terms of her options because, you know, girls, they, they're constantly getting just sausages thrown at them. And if they're getting all this attention just in their day to day lives at work, walking around the street, going to restaurants, just th going to the gym, their day to day lives. How bad does her situation have to be in order for her to go online? Then You know what I'm saying? How bad does her situation have to be? If she's still not satisfied or if she's unable to date in her area or if she's already ran through all the guys in her area and she turns on her dating profile app and turns on the radius to 100 miles because she's known around town. All right. And she's already been there, done that. And she's known. So you got to realize that there's a reason she's on those apps. There's a reason behind it. It's different than us guys. OK, it's way different. These girls on dating apps. I'd say, honestly, all of them, damaged, damaged goods. They've been used, abused, passed around the whole online circle, and th that's their last option. That's their last resort. They have some type of mental issue if you get to the bottom of it, too. And, okay, but I want to address more of your, your question. <clears throat> so you said you dated eight women in six months, and seven out of eight of them wanted to scam me out of my money. Number one, I have a question. How did you, you allow that to happen, first of all, all right? You allowed that to happen. You should be able to pick up on gold diggers or hoes, all right? You should be able to pick up on that, um, especially because you said you, you lost over $1,500 in the end, and I don't, I don't know how that happens, okay? Um, I don't know if you thought you could buy your way into love. You could just spend money on all these dates, and, you know, I'm not even sure if you ended up getting any but regardless fifteen hundred dollars is just a huge waste of money huge waste of time huge waste of effort and you know dating 
eight women in six months, that requires a lot of time. Okay, it does. Now, what you could have done with that time for six months is took, took that $1,500, started your own business or invested it. Even if you invested in something like a small portfolio that you could just, like an index fund, over time, six months ago, you know, it would have grown already by now. And God knows how much money you could have made and time you could have saved, okay? Because all it takes is just you logging onto a computer, you logging on your phone, and just transferring funds in there. That $1,500 could have been spent in a much more productive way. But I understand you're out here and you were looking for a significant other, you said, on Tinder, which is, it's just, you know, that's not going to happen, okay? That's not going to happen. You need to be realistic with yourself, and other people will tell you this that watch this content too. It's just, you're not going to find that out there. You're really not. You have to realize that to get for a girl to get onto a dating app, that's like just a red flag off the off rip right there in the first place that she's even on there. But I want you to learn from this situation and not make the same mistake again. Okay. I want you to learn, take away what you learned from it, not make the same mistake again. You shouldn't even be depressed. Okay. You should be depressed that, yeah, you, you you wasted that money, you wasted that time, but at the same time, you allowed that to happen, okay? You allowed that to happen. You're only 21 years old, though, so you're still young. You still have time to learn. Um, you know, I was a huge simp for most of my life. Just the last two years, I wasn't, so um, we all come from somewhere. We all got to learn, and that's why I make content for you guys because, you know, I've gone through similar experiences in the past. You just got to get over that kind of stuff. Like, you have to realize, like, I'm the valuable one in the situation, all right? I'm the valuable one. And if she's going to come into my world, she better be benefiting me. And anything that happens within that relationship, you allowed it because you chose her, okay? You chose to go on dates with those women. You chose to spend um, six months of your life dealing with eight women when you could have used that time as a better investment for yourself. So that's what I keep preaching on this channel. I'm going to keep preaching this on this channel until it gets through you guys' head, Okay? And if you're going to look for a significant other, you don't use dating apps. You don't use dating apps. All right, I'm just keeping it 100 with you guys. You do not use dating apps ever to look for significant others. Those girls are strictly for pumping up recreational use. They even know that. They even know that, okay? To be honest, they even know that. That's why you see no hookups. They put all this stuff in their profile, love to travel, love to love. They're damaged goods. Just going to keep it a buck. All right, so I love you guys. Like this video, share this video, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit up my Gmail at youngmensdailyredpill at gmail.com and I'll get to you in a timely manner. Until next time, peace, I'm out.